You ever feel like nothing good was ever gonna happen to you? I don't want to just survive. It says in these movie writing books that every character has an arc. You understand? Like everybody starts out somewhere and they do something, something gets done to them, changes their life. That's called their arc. Where's my arc? I hear the clock ticking. That's what I hear. And the end is nigh and time waits for no man. Life goes by and it goes by quick. Don't waste those years. Don't waste them. Live them. Don't waste your time. Do you know that everybody alive gets exactly the same amount of time? It's what we do with it that makes a difference. Don't waste your life. I don't blame them. But don't be mad when you're laying there in your bed and you're in the hospital and you're 70, 80, 90 years old and you're thinking, man, I feel like I didn't do something. Because you did. You didn't do it. You didn't do shit. You may live a great life, man, but you're always going to feel empty inside. I was honest. Look at yourself, man. Look at yourself. And it was that day I just got real with myself. And every day I came home, I called the accountability mirror. What am I going to do today to change what I see in this mirror? Get control. Stop scrolling. Stop clicking. And start living. That today I'm no longer being a loser. Today I'm going to change my path. I'm going to get on the path of success. I don't care how long that road is. I'm going to see it through no matter what. Because you know what? I've been living enough years in this hole. I don't want to be here anymore. A simple truth in life is things are not going to go your way. Things are not going to work out the way you planned. Things are not going to be the way that you wanted them to be. I would recommend you use the resources you have to create the life you want. And so if the cards that you have dealt right now are anger and fear and disappointment, then you can either wallow in those or you can turn something good out of it. And so, I mean, I love the saying, you can either let life beat the strength out of you or you can let it beat it into you. And so it's just a decision of whether these circumstances are going to serve me or I'm going to serve them. And so I think that whatever your raw materials are, a lot of people uh, lament what cards they're dealt. But you don't have control over those cards. You only have control of how you play the hand. Mm -hmm. And so I think everyone just needs to move past that and, you know, stop the pissing contest on who had a sadder upbringing. You cannot take any more time for granted. You don't know how much longer you're going to be here. You can do great things. It's all just a matter of will you choose to blossom into the greatness that is within you. Create a life that you can't wait to wake up to. I saw that. I live that life. I literally, I hate to sleep. I love every minute of my life. What would you say the most consistent straight amongst successful people you've been given? Consistency. Like consistency doesn't guarantee that you're successful, but if you're not consistent, you can guarantee that you won't reach success. Yes. I won every single fucking time. And now here's my last question. My very last question on the questions to ponder is why not now? There never was a better time. And what a time now for us to take this dream and not let it die. Take this dream and give it life. Take this dream and breathe into it your own personal spirit until finally it becomes a flame that burns around the whole world. Let's go do it now. It's like, how far could you take that? If you stopped wasting time and if you stopped lying and if you oriented yourself to, to the highest possible good that you could conceive of and you committed to that, how much good could you do? Well, I would say, why don't you find out? Because everybody believes that at some point in time, they're going to turn it on or some point in time they're gonna catch momentum or some point in time they're gonna become what it is they want to become just by circumstance or by default or by breathing the air. That's not what it takes, bro. People who think that get to the end of their life and they're like, I wasted my life, okay? That's what they end up thinking and there's really nothing worse than that. There's nothing worse than getting to the end of your life and saying, damn dude, I didn't even really try. You don't have forever. Right, so what is important to you? Because you only have 24 hours in a day. So what's important to you? Find out what the 
that is and do more of that and try to figure out like how to how to make enough money so that you're not starving that you're doing well yeah. but don't just chase that chase what you're trying to do a person's strengths are often their biggest weaknesses and so that also means that their weaknesses can be their strengths so me I am weak but I don't accept that I don't accept that I am what I am and that that is what I'm doomed to be no I don't accept that I'm fighting I'm always fighting I'm struggling and I'm scrapping and I'm kicking and clawing at those weaknesses to change them, to stop them.